Hey friends, it's Kate from Love Story, and today I'm going to give a quick spoiler-free review of The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. This is book two in the Mistborn series, Era One, and I read this book for the Mistletoe prompt in the Reindeer Games Readathon with Shelf Space, and I had to switch some books around to make it fit, but I've made it fit and I finished it today, and so here is my hopefully spoiler free, very quick review of The Well of Ascension. So I gave this four and a half out of five stars. Um, and I really, really enjoyed this book. Um, and I'm going to try to make this review as spoiler free as I can for both the book, book two, and the whole series because I don't want to give away too many spoilers. So I enjoyed this book so much. It was so good. Brandon Sanderson is a master with words. Um, I think I enjoyed book one, The Final Empire, a little bit more than this book um, because it set up, we got to learn the whole magic system and the characters for the first time and there was a lot more action happening than there was in The Well of Ascension, um, but I still really enjoyed this book. I enjoyed seeing all of the characters' development. You get to see all of the side characters in much more detail than you have in the first book. And a slight spoiler for book one is that one of my favorite parts of The Well of Ascension is that we got to see so much more of Sazid and all of his powers and his thinking and his studies. Um, he got so much more time in this book than he did in the first book and he has become my favorite character now. I love Sazid and I can't wait to follow Sazid more, hopefully in Hero of Ages. Um, so some of my favorite quotes that I pulled out of Well of Ascension. Um, At first there was a slight stiffness to her posture. It was as if a piece of her still expected to be hurt. A primal sliver that couldn't understand that it was possible to be touched out of love rather than anger. And that quote basically sums up Vin, especially at the beginning of this book. Um, all Vin knew until she met Kelsier's gang and Eliand was being touched out of anger, being hurt, being beaten. And so she kept shying away from physical contact. But when she fell in love with Eliand, she learns, like this quote says, that you can be touched out of love and not just anger. Um, the next quote says, a man was defined not by his flaws, but by how he overcame them. And this is a quote from um, Ilian's half-brother, Zane, and, but it is applicable to basically all of the characters in this series, at least so far. Um, the next quote I have is about Ilian. And it says, sometimes he talks like those books he reads, Finn thought. Not like a normal man at all, but like words on a page. And if you're like me and you've read so many books, sometimes you start catching yourself talking like a book that you've been reading instead of maybe like your normal self. But if you've read enough books, you don't really know sometimes what your normal self, your normal way of talking is compared to the books that you've been reading. Um, and so I was really able to relate to that quote. And then the last two quotes that I pulled out are quotes about Sazid and his grief that he goes through in this book. Um, he was a creature who knew 300 religions, yet had faith in none of them. And um, the second quote is, which is more potent, the pain of memory or the pain of forgetting? And so, like I said, I gave The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson four and a half out of five stars. I really enjoyed this book. I enjoyed seeing all these characters develop more and being able to be more attached to these characters than I was in the first book. Um, but one of the reasons why I gave it four and a half out of five stars is that I thought that some of the kind of political talks and the planning of it took away from the actual story. Um, I enjoyed seeing that, but it felt like it was too much at times and there wasn't enough action in this book until we got to the you know latter half of the book so the first half felt like it was slow and it dragged on at parts but overall I really enjoyed this book four and a half out of five stars 
Again, I highly recommend the Mistborn series if you're trying to get into adult fantasy. Brandon Sanderson is the way to go. Um, so that's my review for The Well of Ascension. And soon, probably in January, I'll move on to book three, which is The Hero of Ages. And I can't wait to see where this story goes. So that's it for now. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with all your friends. Um, if you've read the Mistborn series, let me know what you thought. What's your favorite book in the series? What are your favorite characters? Um, who do you love? Who do you hate in this series? I love to talk to you more about it. Join us on Discord so we can talk more about it. And keep reading. We'll see y'all soon.